Start small. Start with one thing, right? Create value for your customer. Just reading off some of the questions that I, I asked our folks, some of the things they wanted to ask you. Yeah. Um, one of the, uh, the questions we got is for those of us who are not SaaSpreneurs and, and don't necessarily want to go that direction, but yeah. want to be able to like fully utilize high level in one niche. Like what are your thoughts on really like getting max value out of it to really succeed? Yeah, absolutely. So my, I mean, my, that question always comes from newer people, right? Yeah. And the answer is always the same. Start small, start with one thing, right? Create value for your customer because once you do that, right, you're creating revenue for yourself one way or another, whether you decide to be a SaaSpreneur or not. Um, um, although I would still take argument with anybody who says they're not going to be SaaSpreneur because you can still do stuff for people, by the way, and not just sell the software. So you can be a SaaSpreneur in many ways, but yeah. all that to say, I would start with one thing, you know, like I give examples all the time, but I like, like miss call text back. Hey, how many businesses in the United States I know this because I live here, missed calls when their customers call, like Never all of happens. them. Right? And yeah, right. Oh, exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, uh, and, you know, and then if you had missed call text back and you text them and said, hey, we're on the other line, do you need to book an appointment, get an estimate, whatever, you know, how many of those do you have to change into a lot, you know, from a lost sale to a one sale in order to validate, call it a three to $500 a month, you know, uh, recurring revenue stream. And most of the time that's like one, right? Maybe it's two, but they miss hundreds of calls uh, every, every month is the punchline. And so you start small, you you take that one thing and you validate it, and then you push it out to everybody and you can scale that over time. So the big, the big punchline there is don't try to eat the whale, right? Just yeah. start with one thing, create value for yourself and your business, and then that'll help you feel good. Like you're not using high level and paying us. Um, I always say, if you're, if you are paying us more than we're making you, you're doing it wrong. And so that's kind of how I would go about really trying yeah. to get started very quickly and create maximal value. Yeah, I like that a lot. And especially I think what you kind of just a alluded to is, is businesses have a lot of almost sales that for various reasons, they're not able to keep up on. And I think that's probably the low hanging fruit for a lot of people is just pick a niche people, go find the almost sales and help them like do a little more with the almost sales because it's almost- Absolutely. That's huge, right? I mean, there's so many situations, missed calls, um, existing customers, like database reactivations are massive. Like, hey, I have this big old list of people who haven't been in here for like six months. I don't get what, what's the deal. I Here's the deal. They don't know you want them back. So text them an offer you are already doing anyway. And watch magic come back. Woo! No ad spend, money in the door. Super simple. Mm -hmm.